How to use Gemini Google AI for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Gemini because we all have used ChatGPT and at this point we are looking for something new, something updated and something that can provide us with the latest answers possible. So let's jump right in. Now, Gemini is a free to use tool and there is a advanced version of Gemini. Now, if you take a look at the advanced version of Gemini, it has, you know, the most capable model that Google currently has. It has state of art performance as well as two terabytes of storage in your Google One subscription and you can get Google Docs and so much more. Now, what exactly is the purpose of using Gemini AI? Well, one thing to note is if I open up ChatGPT, because that is, you know, one of the most popular AI tools out there. One thing to note about ChatGPT is that I can't send it anything. I can't upload an image onto ChatGPT and ask it a question according to that image. ChatGPT only has info till 2021. And after that, it can't provide me with any answers to updated things. So let's say if I have a question about 2023 or 2022, would Gemini be able to do that? So what happened in 2023 like this? So you guys will see Gemini is currently processing. Let's say, you know, you guys can see it has added all of these different things. So as you guys can see, what Gemini has done is that it has not only provided us with information that is accurate, but it's cited some sources and you will see a double checked response like this. And then on the bottom, you will see that you can also share and export results and then you can also modify its responses. It gives you a few different prompts like shortening it making it longer, making it simpler, casual, or more professional. Now, this is something that I couldn't possibly get an answer with ChatGPT because it's not integrated with the internet. It's not going to be able to provide us with any updates. Okay, so its current update has been in January 2022. It can provide us with information till that point. However, with the current ever-changing landscape of the world, it is very essential to have a bunch of different information about newer stuff that is happening right now. Now, moving on, how else can you use Gemini AI differently from ChatGPT? Well, at the bottom right, you have the option to use your microphone, and let's give an example. And I'll allow my mic. Can you generate a image of a super cool cat running through a garden like this? I'll change up the prompt like this. Now you guys can see that the Gemini AI is currently processing our request and it is going to generate a image for us. Now ChatGPT currently, as of its current updates, it does not focus on the visual elements it usually is you know preferably going to always answer and then it always does have you know we do have the gpt4 i think where you can generate images but currently you know with the basic version of chat gpt that all of us have you're not going to have image generation included all e is something that is present in chat GPT, but it's only for the premium users. Whereas on Gemini, you have this free to use image based AI where you can generate images. Not only is image generation possible, but if you click on upload images and you go on ahead and click on upload image and I'll upload a image like this one. And then after that, I can ask it, what is in this image? So what is in this image? like this. So what this will do is that it will take information from that image, it will process and analyze that particular image and provide us with answers as to what is present in this image. It appears to be a black and white sketch of a fashion advertisement, it features a woman wearing this blah blah blah, you know it has a bunch of, you know it has a bunch of information about the image. Now after that, let's say I want to actually customize the image. So Let's say I want to use this image and create two variations of this image, one in which the girl has blonde hair and one 
in which she is a brunette like this and use this image as inspiration like this so if you have a visual model if you're someone that is super visual and you have something in your mind where you have represented it visually and you're not able to elaborate upon it in a linguistic manner now currently okay so it can modify its current appearances so you know it could you guys can see the reason why it has refused to accept my request so if i make it make the prompt a bit simpler make or add more background to this image like this now obviously if there is any explicit content google is not gonna work with that if your prompt includes things that could possibly be explicit it's not going to work with that so that is you know something to keep in mind let's say i wanted to redesign my logo and then from here it is going to be able to do this because these images are not potentially harmful now it has given me a few different tips to redesign it um, but i'm going to ask it to generate a logo image for my brand called emelin designs like this now after that the gemini ai can go on ahead and start processing our request and get started with generating a logo for us now this is just a basic idea of the potential of this ai and you guys can see this ai actually not only generated one logo but it also generated a mock-up of a logo and this is something that you're going to usually have to use a lot of premium tools to create mockups. Mockups can be super expensive, and you can use the Gemini AI to build mockups for you. If you already have a logo, you can build your mockups. And mockups are actually pretty expensive to generate when you are doing it on your own, whereas you can do it for free with the Gemini AI provided by Google. So I really like to use Gemini AI. If I was to compare this, I would never compare it to ChatGPT. The reason for that is because ChatGPT simply just does not have the same capabilities. It's not even marketed the same way. ChatGPT is just more so focused on text-based informational or knowledgeable answers. If you want to compare Gemini AI and if you're looking for a tool like Gemini AI, if you're using Gemini AI already, or you just want to try an alternate of gemini i would suggest go with perplexity ai it functions on a similar model as to gemini ai and can provide you with similar answers as the google-based ai as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe